Can casinos really throw you out just for being a card counter? If you end up learning card counting, are you just going to end up chained in the basement of a casino getting pistol whipped by security officers? In this video, I'm going to share everything you need to know about back offs at the card counter. Maybe you've seen 21 the movie or Rain Man or even my back off video here on YouTube. And I'm sure you have some questions, not the least of which is, is card counting even legal? Yes, card counting is perfectly legal. We card counters are simply using our brains to play blackjack to the best of our abilities. Fortunately for us, using our brains is perfectly legal and that's all that we're doing as card counters. So then the next question is, well, what the heck? Casinos can just throw people out for using their brains? Isn't that illegal? The reality is a casino is a private business and so they can refuse service to whoever they want as long as they aren't violating the Civil Rights Act of 1964. That means that privately owned businesses are not allowed to discriminate based on race, color, religion, or national origin. But you know the sign, no shirt, no shoes, no service? That's because the grocery store can refuse service if you don't wear a shirt or you don't wear shoes because it doesn't have anything to do with the Civil Rights Act. Casinos operate in that same way where they say, you're using your brain, you're not welcome here. So for those who don't know me, I've been a card counter for a long time, over 15 years. I've won over $600,000. I've run teams and our teams have won close to $4 million. And I've trained multiple six and even seven figure card counters through Blackjack Apprenticeship to beat casinos at card counting. We're not doing anything illegal and casinos are allowed to tell us they don't want us playing there. So that's what we do. It's the cat and mouse game of being a card counter. We go into a casino, we play the game they offer, we play it to the best of our abilities, we play it in a way that we have the advantage. And when they say, hey, we don't want winners here, you need to move on, we move on to the next casino. In my experience, it doesn't do you any good to argue about it or to tell them they're wrong or to say, how do you know I'm a card counter? They can say, we don't want you here just because they don't like the clothes you're wearing or they don't like the way that you play and you're not gonna do anything to convince them otherwise. Well, then what exactly does a back off look like? There are generally three tiers of back offs and I'm gonna to explain to you each of them. The first kind of back off looks something like this. Mr. Jones, your game's too good for us. You're welcome to play any other games in the casino, but no more blackjack. And you can say, what do you mean? They say, you're just too good. We don't want to book your action here or something along those lines. And it's pretty cordial, simple enough. You move on to the next casino. The second tier of back off looks something like this. You're done here. You need to cash out and leave. And that's a little bit more intimidating. They're, they're saying they don't want you playing any games in the casino. They want you out of here. And the reality is they can ask you to leave. They can ask you to cash out and leave. And you do. You cash out and you leave. They have to cash you out. They can't confiscate your chips. They might say something like, we need to see your ID, in which case you could say, no, I just want to leave, come back, cash out later or whatever. But, you know, it's not that bad. Then there's a the third kind of back off. It's the most harsh, though still. I take it with a grain of salt. It's happened to me dozens of times. And that's called the Trespass Act, where they read something like this. We're informing you that we have a right to arrest you for trespassing if you come back on our property. And they say, if you come back, we can arrest you for trespassing. A lot of card counters take it with a grain of salt. When I get read the Trespass Act, I respect it. I don't go back to that casino, but they're really just trying to intimidate you and make you feel scared. And if they want to try to make you feel like a bad guy for that, that's on them. I don't feel like a bad guy. I feel like a superhero. Being trespassed is the least common of these. Again, I take it with a huge grain of salt. They're just trying to intimidate you because casinos don't want winners. They only want losers at the casino. At that point, I respect it. I move on. I don't go back to that casino because clearly they don't want a winner there. All right, let's talk about what you should do if you get backed off from a casino. The first thing I would say is don't argue with them. It's not gonna help. Probably their emotions are high in that moment because they have to kick someone out of the casino and someone told them they have to do it and they don't wanna do it and they feel like they're the righteous one and you're the bad guy. Don't do anything to escalate it. I like to do something that diffuses the situation and say, oh, I'm sorry, was I doing anything wrong? What are they gonna say? <laughs> they know I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was using my brain to play blackjack well. And usually that de-escalates the situation. They say, well, you're, you're just too good for us. You know what you were doing and whatever, move on. I always like to think that they're more scared of me than I am scared of them. And I don't wanna pick a fight. I just wanna 
use my brain to make money. If they don't want me to do that, that's great. That's their prerogative. I'll move on to the next casino, but don't escalate the situation. The final thing I would say is when you get backed off, take it as validation that you're playing well. If your game is on point, if you're a perfect card counter, and be careful, because there are bad card counters that still get backed off from casinos because casinos aren't that smart. They can't tell the difference between a good and a bad card counter. But if you are a good card counter, you get backed off, just say, hey, my skills were validated. There are a lot of other casinos. It sucks when you lose a casino close to home that you like playing at, that you can generate EV at, but that's, that's the game. You wanna play a winning game? Casinos don't want winners. So you just gotta take it, roll with the punches, and move on to the next casino. If someone claims that they have this secret way that they've beat casinos and have never been backed off, don't trust them. All of us successful card counters have experienced back offs as well as other forms of advantage play. You might last longer, but you're gonna get backed off eventually and don't let it scare you. We're there to take the casino's money. It's their job to try to stop us. Don't let back offs intimidate you. I've been backed off nearly a hundred times, but in that process, I've won over $600,000. My teams have experienced hundreds and hundreds of back offs between all the players. In that process, we took casinos for millions and millions of dollars and it's worth getting asked to leave some casinos if you can take their money along the way. Move on to the next place, take their money. If they don't want your action, move on to the next place. That's how we beat casinos for large amounts of money. If you wanna learn more about how we beat casinos with card counting, you can subscribe below. And if you wanna find out why I actually think it's a good thing that casinos have a right to back us off, you can watch that video and find out what I have to say.